back to my youtube channel it's been a while again uh but you guys already know that i am very bad at posting consistently wait hold on i think we're good now in this video i am gonna do a little piercing tour because you guys keep asking about it before we get into it i wanted to introduce you to this brand and they are also the sponsor of this video and it's called ana luisa and while we're talking about piercings anyways earrings are also kind of piercings right yes so first of all i got these lovely earrings from Ana Luisa, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's a little safety pin. You probably can't see it. Hold on. I know you can also see my bed skin, but it's a little safety pin. And I used to put like safety pins in my ears anyways, because I liked it. But, you know, having actual earrings as safety pins is better than putting safety pins in your ears. And then second of all, I got this really cute little bracelet so simple it looks like this it has a little heart to it i don't know if you can see it properly but i really love these this like simple jewelry so i can stack it like you see like I'm, all my jewelry is pretty simple but i like to stack it if you want to get yourself or your loved ones some nice new jewelry i have a code for you if you use ernia 20 i will put it in the screen my name and then 20 you get 20 percent off i also have a sale right now that if you buy a second item you get 40 percent off on your second item you cannot use my code with the sale there is a link in my description box if you want to get yourself something from their website without further ado let's get into my piercings i'm just gonna go over my piercings from like top to bottom don't worry it only goes up to my stomach piercing i'm gonna tell you when i got them at what age i got them and also the pain levels please keep in mind that pain is different for everyone i have a pretty big pain tolerance so my experience might be very different to other people or to your experiences so don't come for me if you do get any of these piercings and it does hurt a lot I'm just gonna start with like the easiest piercings in my ear obviously I got the ones on my earlobe like three on this side three on that side and I got those when I was pretty young and they healed perfectly fine never got any issues with it I never changed this jewelry only the first ones as you can see like I usually change these up right now I'm wearing the ones that I got from Ana Luisa I really like to have like different earrings in each ear i don't want it to match the first two ones i do always match but the rest changes every time and then i got my tragus piercing there's a little snake in it right now i also didn't really get got any issues with that one also i'm not gonna rate the earlobes because i feel like they're not really painful at all so i'm not gonna rate them because i wouldn't know what to say anyways um the tragus piercing was not really painful for me either I got it last year or no two years ago but it healed pretty quickly the only annoying thing with this piercing is is that you cannot really wear your airpods while it's healing uh so i was wearing headphones but yeah this one is not that painful maybe like a um, six out of ten it's not pleasant but it is over really quickly it's one of my favorites i definitely recommend it because i love this piercing and then i got the one here like the, the little tiny stud that i got here for me i couldn't pierce it with like a gun these were done with a piercing gun and this one was pierced because i don't have a lot of space here like this is not really this is still soft this isn't really soft anymore so they had to pierce it um actually i hated that one more than this one so maybe like seven no 6.5 out of 10 with pain and other than that it was pretty fine actually i didn't have any problem with it my first piercing ever was my nostril piercing that's the next piercing that i'm going to be talking about i got it when i was 14 i think i got it pretty young i loved it so much and i had it for a year but i had to take it out because at the time i was working in a supermarket as a cashier and i wasn't allowed to wear a ring so i had to keep changing it to a stud but i didn't want to have a stud so because i had to keep changing it didn't really heal well and it kept like having a little bump on it and it was really annoying so i had to take it out and i don't know you can see a little bit of a scar but not really so i mean i recommend it the pain was not pleasant i think like um 7.5 or 7 out of 10. as you can see right now i have it on the other side because i re-pierced it 
like a few months ago and it has always been really annoying to heal this one both like i don't know why i'm just really not lucky with this piercing i keep losing it while going out i keep losing it in my sleep uh when i had the stud still now i have a little ring in it and it's actually fine now but changing the ring it was so painful because it fell out and it already like started healing my skin heals really quickly from piercings so the hole was already closed when i got to the piercing shop and when i had to pierce it again it was so painful oh my god i can't even tell you they had to pierce through scar tissue because it was already closed so i almost passed out on that one i think that was my most painful experience with a piercing okay wait let me take it out because there we go my septum piercing one of my favorites i love it so much i'm very attached to it i got it when i was 16 and now i'm 21 <gasps> never took it out never changed it this is still the piercing that they used when they pierced it a lot of people keep asking what the size is but i genuinely don't know so i don't know if there's a standard size when piercing but that's what i got and i really didn't mind that one i don't really remember it very well but i think maybe six out of ten but i love this one a lot it's very tiny it was like healed after a week i could do anything i wanted with it never had any issue yeah and i never have to clean it anymore yeah obviously you have to clean your piercings but i don't it never gets affected so i really really recommend a septum piercing but i usually flip it up now like that's that's what i love about it as well you can just you can just get rid of it whenever you want it depends on the size of your piercing but with me i can the piercings that i took out which is my helix piercing helix helix i don't know how you call it in english i took it out after a few months because it didn't heal or actually it was like a year but there was growing a bump on it and the bump is still there but you can't really see it and you can barely see it i was really scared of getting like you know those things you see on TikTok of girls that get like really big infections on their ear? I was really scared of that, so I took it out. And this was also one of my most painful experiences with piercings. Like I said, the ones in my ear, I really, really, really don't like them. I'd rather have facial piercings, like I'd rather have my eyebrow pierced than get another piercing in my ear. I'm just not doing it. Even though I really like having like a big ear party going on, I'm done with it. I'm not doing it anymore. I really don't like showing my ears. So I keep covering it, but that's also why I don't want piercings in my upper ear. Pain from the Helix, Helix, maybe 8 out of 10. I really hated that one. It was horrible. Ugh, if I think about it, I'm like just anxious. Then I have my smiley piercing. I can put a picture on the screen. I will do that with all the piercings that I got removed. I have my smiley piercing. I got that one two years ago, my smiley piercing, but I had to remove it because I read that you can't really keep it for that long because it's gonna damage your teeth and I didn't really want to do that because I had braces for really long I really don't feel like having to do that again or have any damage to my teeth so I removed it and also it was lowering because the skin is so thin where you pierce it so it just your skin is just gonna stretch and then your piercing is gonna fall out eventually and before my skin ripping I just decided to take it out myself but I really liked it if I look back on it now I wouldn't get it again because I think too much was going on in my face but it is a very cute detail pain like four or five out of ten it's such a thin skin you don't actually feel it they fucked up a little bit with me though because they pierced it wrong like crooked so they had to re-pierce it twice and change the jewelry like three times because they couldn't find the right jewelry it was fine after all and even like that having to pierce it a few times it didn't hurt that much next piercing that i got is the tongue web i was looking for the name tongue web it's this one i'm not gonna show it a lot because the one thing that i really hate about this piercing it's one of my favorites but what i hate about it is that there gets tooth stone stuck to your piercing and at least for me it doesn't have to be like this for everyone but for me no matter what you do like i i brush my teeth like three times a day mouthwash every morning every night i drink a lot of water and there still gets tooth stone stuck to it and uh, I also brush my piercing, but it's just like disgusting kind of. I can show you a little bit. Do you see like the white thing on it? It's not gross because it's actually the thing that also creates around your teeth, but it's just there and you can't really get rid of it. And it's not good 
for your teeth either. So I'm thinking of either removing my piercing or changing the jewelry. But this is the second time that this happens because I removed the piercing before and then I re-pierced it. And now it happens again. In maybe 5 out of 10 as well. It didn't really hurt. I feel like mouth piercings are not that bad anyways because it heals really quick as well. Unless you drink alcohol like I did because I thought that alcohol would heal the piercing quicker. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true. But any normal thinking human would know that but i just thought drinking wine is probably going to be good for your piercing because alcohol is good for wounds and shit no sadly that's not true so it got really swollen so don't drink wine and don't drink lactose or something with any piercings that you got going on in your mouth when it's still healing because there's bacteria that will definitely infect your piercing yeah, i'm not a professional but i do know what professionals tell me when i got my piercings okay on to the next we're almost done. I have my nipples pierced. Not anymore. I removed it. Pain was maybe like 8 or 9 out of 10. Yeah. It was not It was not pleasant. But obviously, like, what are you going to expect? You're getting a needle to your literal nipple. So, yeah, that's going to hurt. I really liked the piercings. It really gave me such a big confidence boost. I am just a very impatient person. I, I did not have the patience to let them heal. Like, it makes your boobies even more fragile and sensitive when they are really are pretty sensitive <laughs> and i'm a stomach sleeper so it was really annoying when they were healing you have to sleep with like a tight top to like keep them a little bit protected and in their place and i am someone that likes to sleep without a top so i really didn't like that and i was just too impatient and i didn't think it was worth it so i decided to remove them i don't really have a lot of scarring right now but it was fun to try like i love to try every piercing because i know i can take them out when they pierced the first one it was fine because you have a lot of adrenaline going through your body the second one oh my god the second one is so painful but it's fine it's very short pain when the jewelry is through you just like have to breathe again and then it's fine the first week was very heavy but after a week it was pretty okay the moment i took them out was when i got my belly button pierced which is the next and the last piercing I'm really happy with this piercing it was really unproblematic it healed perfectly fine i was a little bit scared of this one because i saw some stories of these piercings not healing well but i treated it very good i gave it a little salt bath every now and then yeah, if you keep cleaning it it's gonna be fine pain was like probably like an 8 out of 10 because it was still painful because it's like in the center of your body so it's where you breathe so you start just getting anxious at least i got anxious because of it but it was really worth it i still have it and i don't think i'm gonna be moving it any soon i have a really tiny piece of jewelry in it it took me like six months before I changed it uh, because it has to heal properly and I really wanted to have like a really small bar. That was basically all the piercings that I got. I love it. It's my coping mechanism. That's why I keep getting more, but I think I'm done for now. There's not anything else that I want. I wish I was less of a pussy to get more piercings in my ear, but I really just don't want to go through the pain. If you decide to get any of these piercings, just make sure that you contact a right piercer like do your research go don't go to a random place don't do it yourself i know a lot of people that do it themselves i would never personally do that if you want to do that go off but i really don't recommend it and the aftercare is really important don't be lazy on the aftercare because then your piercing is not going to heal well and i have experienced that with my nose piercing to ana luisa thank you so much again for sponsoring this video link to their website is in my description box and you can use my code adonia20 for 20% off like subscribe socials will also be down below and i will see you in my next video bye bye